This is just a quick follow-up video to a video I uploaded a few years ago on this uh, Tektronix 465B scope that had a short in, I believe it was the minus, yeah, it was a minus eight section of the power supply. So I just want to kind of do this follow-up if anyone finds it and wants to know how I solved it. Look, I did. Yeah, it's all messed up because I pulled all the controls off, which I'd like to talk to or talk about. Um, I started to disassemble this thing to pull the front plate off. So pulled all these controls, started unscrewing things, got in behind here. There's some screws holding it to the, the shroud around the CRT. Still couldn't get it out. And then thought, you know what? Screw it. I'm still going to try and remove this capacitor from uh, the top while desoldering it on the bottom. Here is the capacitor in question. Let's get it under some light is a 5,000 microfarad, 25 volt Sprague electrolytic. Big, beefy sucker. I mean, this is old. 85 degree, nothing special. And I'm just going to show a picture I took of the uh, replacement. I use a 5600 because you can either do 47 or 5600. 5,000 is a very specific uh, size. It's not very common, pretty expensive. Usually when you get into the non-E, I think capacitors usually E12 values, like 3344, 3347.56, blah, blah, blah. When you get into this, it's like precision, 1%, 2%, because this is precision equipment. Um, but for me and my use, I, I don't care. So 5600 it is, it'll whatever. Anyway, I used my fancy desoldering gun that I didn't have at the time. I haven't replaced this uh, fuse. Uh, this is just bypassed just for testing. And desoldered the capacitor. So you see there are four mounting points. These three in a triangle are all the can, which is the negative. And then this one's the positive. Now, I haven't finished these soldering, so that looks like shit. I'm going to flow that a little bit better. And then this one here I used as the, oops, as the negative, because this is the only one that has a trace going to it. And it's got one trace going to it on the bottom here and three traces going to it on top. So uh, these leads aren't cut. I made sure I put the capacitor as high up as possible so I could see the pads underneath it to make sure I was flowing to the top as well, because this is a two-sided board. These go through here. And I wanted to make sure I had a good connection there. Uh, <laughs> desoldering, I lifted these pads a little bit because I had to go at it pretty hard to get this thing out. I was actually using my soldering iron and the desoldering gun as well. So I was double teaming it to get enough heat to get that thing out. So you can kind of see where I stuck that tiny capacitor and the negative, you can see a little gray stripe there to the right. And you can see the pad that goes off in two directions there. And it actually goes to a third that you can't see. Kind of goes down and to the left there, that trace. And then the positive only connects on the bottom. And yeah, that's it. Look at the size of these other filter caps. They're massive. It's amazing how much smaller these things are. I mean, it... That's a 5600 microfarad 25 volt. This is a 5000 microfarad 25 volt, 85 degrees, 105 degrees. What a difference. This is temporary, I swear I'm ordering the correct fuse. Anyway, I just wanted to do a very quick follow-up video uh, to show what I did, to show that that was in fact the problem. That capacitor <laughs> measures a, di a direct short, under one ohms on the multimeter. Uh, just measuring DC. It's completely shorted. And uh, yeah, hope this video is helpful to someone. Bye.